This $400 drone just became fully automated, and so thanks to the combination of PGCS together with Litchi. Now this allows you to fly even smaller DJI drones such as the Mini Series on fully automated missions, which allows you to do surveying projects and so much more. If you thought your small DJI drone can only be used on manual missions, then you are completely wrong. Today, we will walk you through the process of how you can unlock the full potential of your small DJI drone without having to spend more than $2,000 on a pro-level mapping drone. So, let's get started. Firstly, check that your drone and remote controller combination support the integration of third-party apps. Down here on the screen, you will now see the list of supported drones by this method. But keep in mind that not all drone and remote controller combinations are supported. For example, you might have a controller with the inbuilt screen that is locked by DJI and does not support third-party app integration. So check down in the video description below, we have a link to the Litchi guide, which also outlines which drones and which remote controllers are supported by their applications. In general, if you can install the Litchi app and run it on your setup, then you should be good to go. So let's get started. As the first step, you'll need to download the Litchi application on your Android or iOS device or your DJI controller. Uh, Litchi has two different applications. One is for newer drones starting from DJI Mini 3, also includes Mini 3 Pro and a Mini 4 Pro. But for older drones, there's the older app. So for newer ones, it's the Litchi Pilot app. And for the older ones is Litchi for DJI drones. Keep in mind, the Litchi app, it does cost $30, which you will have to pay in order to use this method, but it's a one-time fee, luckily. So now here, just um, if you're on Android, you can just go to Google Play Store, then uh, go to search, and you can just find the Litchi app and uh, install it. You can already see I have this app uh, already on the device, which means I can simply uh, open it up and log in. And now once you have the Litchi application installed on your device, also ensure that uh, you have access to the Litchi Mission Hub that's uh, available through the browser. The link you'll see uh, on screen right now. So it's flylitchi.com slash hub. Uh, we're going to be using the older version because the newer version, uh, at least the one which is currently advertised as the beta, it doesn't fully support the KML import, which we will need. So we'll be using this version. So uh, ensure you are logged in on both devices, on the Mission Hub, as well as the Litchi mobile app. And one way to also check that this synchronization works is the following. So on the Litchi Mission Hub, we can now go here and simply create a new mission. We can add uh, a few points and then let's go here and click on Save. You can enter some mission name. Uh, I will just call this uh, Test Mission and let's click on save. Uh, now in this Litchi application, I will go into the uh, waypoint view. By the way, also keep in mind that the Litchi uh, pilot app, so the new one, it will be slightly different and its interface will more resemble what you see on the desktop on the mission hub. But uh, from both of them, you will be able to access the missions. So now we can go here into the folder and actually we can see this test flight. And so now we can just go here click on load, and we can see, so this is the same mission now on both devices. Okay, so that's the initial setup done. So now we have the Litchi app, we have the mission hub, and we can start working with it. Uh, now, the next step is that before we proceed to GCS, I will show you a few settings that you will need to change in the import settings of the Litchi mission hub. So now let's do that. So down here where there is the gear icon, let's click on that. And now let's go through a few settings which I changed. So units, uh, let's leave them as they are, map type as well. Uh, heading, uh, ensure that heading is set to auto. Uh, as the finish action, I just have RTH, so return home, path mode, curved turns. Uh, the cruising speed and maximum flight speed, these you can set to whatever are your preferences. Uh, but keep in mind that the speed from your GCS will not be carried over to Litchi currently. So you will need to uh, set the speeds here on Litchi side. Uh, next for the photo capture interval. Uh, so you can choose either seconds or meters, and this we will later have to match to what it's set in your GCS. But initially, as some default, uh, I will just set this to three seconds. So meaning that every three seconds, the drone will take an image. Uh, and also then 
here where we have this online use online elevation so here also ensure you have a checkbox here just to ensure the drone will be following the terrain and yeah actually that's it for these initial settings and now we can uh proceed over to the gcs side okay so that's it for the stage one of the litchi uh side configuration and now we can move on to stage two which is planning the mission in gcs and exporting it into litchi all right so first and foremost we need to ensure that uh, we will have correct overlaps between the images in our mission to do this uh, we have compiled a list of uh, small drones along with their uh, camera parameters these are available on our manual site also linked down in the description below and so here you can see i already have them on the screen right now so you will just take the one that um, obviously is for your drone in my case i have the dji mini 2 drone so i will just take this one and then i will download this drone profile and next up here inside of UGCS, you can go into the uh, main menu then let's go into profiles and here under vehicles click on import now find the mini 2 profile or whatever drone profile uh, you will be using and simply click on open um, and okay so now when you have the drone and the payload profile now we can proceed to actually planning our mission so go to the area where you want to plan your mission then click here on create a new route the route name i'll just for now leave as it is now here in this list uh, you need to search for your drone you can see i'm already being suggested this mini 2 but just to search for it just enter the name of your drone and then click on next now you have to select what route type you want to use and we'll be using a photogrammetry and an area so we'll be simply surveying this area using this drone now you can see we have the photogrammetry tool selected and now we can already proceed to putting the points on the map and sort of marking the area that we want the drone to scan so let's select this area hit enter to complete and if necessary you can make some slight adjustments to the shape of the area and okay also now take note that the camera used is the dji mini 2 camera and that's why it's also important to import the drone profile beforehand for the photogrammetry tool you can either set the altitude using gsd or simply using flight height in this case i'll be using the flight height and simply setting this to let's say 50 meter altitude now next where we have the flight speed uh, this actually will not be taken into account but this is simply five meters here by default uh, next you can also check what are your overlap settings so forward and side overlap uh, turn type i'll leave to stop and turn and altitude mode also i will leave as it is so actually this mission it's uh, simple enough uh, for this uh, example and now we can proceed already to exporting it so now click here on export route and then as the export format select kml and then in these settings choose altitude amsl and format as place marks then click on next and uh, then just uh, save that roots kml file okay and now once the kml file has been saved we can now go back into litchi mission hub so now go into where you have missions and select import now select choose file and then choose your kml file and now select import to new mission now once this is done there's usually one more thing i do in here so instead of ugcs i go click here on this checkbox on the route and then actually uh, we can see so how often uh, is the camera being triggered in this case it's every 10.7 meters and now we can go back into uh, litchi then go to these uh, settings under photo capture interval select meters and enter the same value 10.7 meters and click on close and now as you click through the points you can also see that now all points have the same capture interval this is important to ensure that the forward overlap between the images will be consistent and now one thing i'd recommend you also do is add the camera action to move the gimbal 90 degrees downwards so to do that click here on the plus button when you have the first waypoint selected change this to tilt camera and as the value enter minus 90. 
And that's it. Now uh, you need to save this mission. So go to missions and save. And now let's enter some names. So for example, let's call this mini two. And now it should be saved. So now once we go into our uh, app mobile application and we select load flight, then actually here we can already see this mini two flight. Now just select that, press on load, and now you can see this same mission. So now you can see the mission already has been transferred from your GCS into the Litchi mobile application. And from here on, it's actually quite straightforward. You just go, launch the drone, and collect the images. And so to summarize, in today's video, we showed you how you can use GCS in combination with Litchi to use this on smaller DJI drones. And this allows you to use DJI Mini, DJI Air 2S, and many other drone platforms to get started with your drone business and get started with your journey in the world of professional drone surveying. And if you want to learn more about it, check out this video that's now on screen where you can learn more about how you can get started with drone business. And if you like this type of content, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more. See you in the next one. Bye.